Imagine a Pokemon game where you could catch them all and then be able to sell those rare Pokemon to other less hardworking trainers. Sounds a lot better than just stealing all the Pokemon you want, right? While people may have felt rugged by a recent scandal involving rare stolen Pokemon cards, the truth is every Pokemon fan would probably love to buy, sell, and trade their digital Pokemon just like they can do with their Pokemon cards. Unfortunately, clowns like this guy want to make sure that can never happen in the US. All right, all right, all right. All clown on the side, remember that game I was just telling you about? Yeah, it's getting ready to launch right now and I have all the top secret intel. It's mission time. Pokemon is one of the biggest gaming brands in the entire world, spanning both physical and digital gaming realms. I always thought it was weird that you can buy, sell, and trade your Pokemon cards, but it didn't work that way when they started making video games. Am I the only one that realized that? Okay, so even though I see a big issue with this, I don't think the folks over at the Pokemon company get it. But maybe when they see how successful Celestia Ultimate is, they'll join the NFT revolution and do right by their kids. So Celestial Ultimate is a new monster tamer game that at its core is very reminiscent of Pokemon. Some might even call it a clone, and I wouldn't necessarily disagree. Your clones are very impressive. But it does take the genre further in allowing you to actually own your mons, or champions as they call them, which have the ability to be sold on a marketplace. Kind of like a CSGO skin, but it's so fluffy! It's so fluffy! Now that we know why this game could be important, and possibly how you can make some extra money, Let's take a look at my latest Intel report that breaks down the good, the bad, and the fluffy of Celestial Ultimate. Pokemon video games have sold over 440 million copies to date. Pokemon Go, the popular mobile game that had everyone walking around like zombies in 2016, has made over $1 billion every year for the last few years. Over 43 billion, 43 billion Pokemon cars have been printed to date and the Pikachu uh, Illustrator card sold for $5.25 million. What? That's a huge sale. Now what does all this indicate? Well, people freaking love Pokemon, but they also love to sell their cards for big dollars too, right? Celestia Ultimate will start off with just 71 champions to catch and getting in early means you get those Gen 1 champions that could be super valuable in the future. But you need some important details on this game before you make that sweet, sweet video game cheddar. So let's get into it. To start things off, the gameplay is pretty much what you would expect from a title in the Monster Hunter genre. You fight, you tame, you level, you get it. They have raids, tournaments, and other similar content to keep you engaged beyond the core game loop, but it's not ready for prime time just yet in this very early stage of development. You won't find a whole lot of innovation in the gameplay, but the tech that powers their tradable champions is the real forward-thinking feature here. Yes, this is a game that has digital collectibles or NFTs in it, but that's a special sauce that makes it possible to buy, sell, and trade your champions, as well as maybe make some passive income. Yeah, you heard me right. Not only do Celestia NFTs have tons of in-game uses, they can also earn you some very useful passive in-game rewards if you hold the right number of champions, and their in-game currency, the champ token. Going just beyond in-game items, Celestia Ultimate offers some great opportunities to earn champ tokens and other NFTs by doing things like winning tournaments or PvP matches, beating people in raid events, renting out your land, and evolving your champions to sell them on their in-house marketplace. Now the champion leveling process is pretty grindy, but that makes sense since you'll have the ability to sell these to other players for profit. So buckle up for a Mountain Dew Code Red Fueled Weekend Trainers. Since we can now sell your uh, you caught Pokemon, let's talk about the rarity of these things and how that all works. Champions can be won in game, bred in game, or purchased on the marketplace. Now obviously earning a new champion in game is 100% free, but breeding new champions is not. Before we dive into how you buy one, I want to focus on breeding because it's an important part of this game. Now breeding is the only way new champions are created and to breed you need to own land in the game. Now land NFTs are going on sale April 21st for 0.8 ETH on OpenSea and you'll need to pull the trigger pretty fast on these because they'll go off sale April 26th in what we call an open edition. Now that just means there's no maximum limit on the number of lands that are being sold during the one week window. However many get sold during that time will be the max limit for that digital collectible. Now once you have land, you can fight battles on it and you have a chance to get an egg drop. 
So you just sit on that bad boy for a short period of time, then boom, a random new champion to battle with. Now the cool thing is that each NFT champion has its own unique stats and abilities that are tied to the NFT, like little Moltkin who obtains a defense and speed bump uh, speed buff when he's the last Mon standing. So buying new champions uh, is pretty easy too, so they're gonna be selling for $100 each, and the most common ones will have a supply of just $2,500. Each champion has a max limit, and when they're sold out, that's it. No more of those champions will ever be created, and if you want one, you gotta buy it from another player on the marketplace. Now when it comes to buying and selling your champions in the marketplace, here's the one, two, and three of how it's gonna go. First, you have to use their in-game currency champ to do any buying and selling. Now that does mean that you'll need to be savvy with one of those crypto wallet thingies, so jump in my Discord community if you have any questions and the GIA can help. Link in description. Second, their marketplace will be built in-game so it makes it easy to trade back and forth without having to worry about a crypto wallet. Just get your champ tokens to their marketplace and it's smooth process from there. Third, a portion of every purchase goes back into the rewards pool that supports buybacks, burns, and holding rewards. That's where those things come from. While some of the intricate details of the NFTs can be hard to wrap your head around at times, the cool thing is you don't really need to know much about NFTs to really get playing in Celestia because they give everyone a starter champion to get going with. It's like your very own Pikachu pal that you will spend the rest of your entire monster hunting life looking after. Just don't feed it after midnight. Well, there you have it, agents. I hope this top secret intel helps you catch them all in Celestia Ultimate, because hell, one of us nerds has to be the first to get serious and do it, right? No, I don't know. I don't know if they're serious. If they're serious, they are. If they actually want to fucking catch them all, that's what they're fucking doing. That's what I'm fucking doing. Well, that's all we have for today, agents. And as always, this briefing never happened. Secret Agent Stash, over and out. Secret Agent Stash. Secret Agent Stash.